the county of Wasingishu, where the DCI and the police have exhumed human remains suspected to belong to the former managing director of the Kerio Valley Development Authority, Silvanas Tube. The former KVDA boss went missing in the year 2012, and as Lois Wangui reports, the family has since provided samples for scientific investigations to determine whether the recovered bones are those of their kin who has been missing for 12 years. The exhumation exercise of the discovered human remains in the compound of Silvanas to Bay was a joint affair by the DCI Forensic Crime Scene Investigators and the Kenya Police while the family of the missing KVDA boss watched from a distance they believe the human remains could be of their kin who went missing 12 years ago, former KVDA Managing Director Silvanas to Bay. The exhumation team first landed on this rugged blanket that wrapped the body whose bones were discovered here. Next, this black sweater was recovered. The team here shook off a few bones from a human's torso. This exhumation journey began at the close of last year after a farmhand going about his gardening duties stumbled upon the remains. Uh, towards 31st December last year, through members of the public and the administration of this area, we happened to get a phone uh, that uh, something was discovered at the farm of the, of the missing person. A few moments later, more and more remains were discovered and the pathologists present confirmed they were human remains. There was no evidence of human skin, but only bones and a human skull. Exhumation was over. Investigators called the family of Silvanas to Bay to see the remains, which are of key interest to them. They believe these are the bones of their missing son, Silvanas to Bay. We have done the, 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 the exhumation and we found some bones believed to be human, or rather, some remains of a person. And uh, now we are going for the process to take those uh, remains and uh, go and do further investigation. When the family of Silvanas Tubei reported the disappearance of the ex-KVDAMD in 2012, two suspects were arrested. One, a middle-aged man who was found in possession of a mobile phone belonging to the missing KVDAMD and was jailed for four years. The other suspect was Elava, a woman he cohabited with following the death of his wife in the year 2007, but she would be set free by the courts for lack of sufficient evidence on her participation on the disappearance of Silvanas Tubei. All along, Silvanas Tubei's two children studied in Canada and reside there to date. Naturally, naturally, this uh, when when somebody disappears in his house, first has to become the spouse. That's where investigation normally starts. So that one now is behind us because it went through the court and it was dismissed. So we're not holding anybody now responsible for this. Investigation is starting afresh. What we are going to make sure that we are going to turn well. That we take a moment. Now we are going to have a quick one. 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 No one saw him leave this place, and he has never been seen since that time. So the story that he left this place was a lie. The team here emptied the bones of the lower parts of the body from this black trouser, part of a tracksuit that family members identified to have belonged to the missing Sylvanas Tobey. If the now recovered human remains prove to be those of Sylvanas Tubey, this will mean that his killers duped the government, his family and friends to search everywhere else for him, but not in his backyard. Luis Wangoi, NTV, in the county of Wasingishu.